Now in the next part of this example, we've got to do something a little bit different. So this time we've got, we want to work out the longest time which the probability that fewer than customers arrive at the checkout is greater than 0.06. So we're being asked to work out an unknown time value. And with a Poisson distribution, if you don't know the time interval, then you don't know lambda. So essentially this kind of question is all about trying to identify what lambda value corresponds to the probability statement that's given. So if we look at the solution, we essentially want the fewer than two customers, so that's x is less than or equal to one. The probability of that needs to be greater than 0 0.06. And we need the lambda value that corresponds to that probability statement. So we can use our tables or you can use your calculator uh, the inverse function on your calculator to work out your lambda value that corresponds to that probability statement. And in this case, by doing that, we get a lambda value of 4.5. Now, to get from the lambda value back to the um, time that we're looking for, so the longest time, what we do is we now refer back to uh, the lambda value referred to in the question. So we've got a lambda value of three per minute. So three occurrences per minute. So when t is one, when the time interval is one, lambda will be equal to three. Therefore, the connection between t and lambda is that lambda is three t, or t is equal to lambda divided by three. So once we get our lambda value of 4.5 that corresponds to this probability statement, we can then divide that by 3 to find our time interval. So our longest time, which the probability that fewer than two customers arrive at the checkouts to be greater than 0 0.06 is equal to 1.5 minutes. In part three, we've asked to, by calculation, find the range of values of t, so similar idea, unknown t, for which the probability that no customers arrive um, in a period of t seconds is greater than 0 0.0001. And for this question, we can say, well, what has been stated above is equivalent to saying the probability that x is zero, i.e. There, there are no occurrences being greater than 0 0.00001. And um, the Poisson formula with x being equal to zero simplifies down quite nicely to just e to the minus lambda. And then by taking logs, we can solve for lambda and get uh, an inequality for lambda, and again using the connection between t and lambda, so in this case dividing through by 3, we can then get um, our restriction on t. So actually t, um, the range of values that t can take, uh, is between um, 3.84, between 0 and 3.84, yeah.